Hi everyone, so my name is Sunidhi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to study Pride and Prejudice novel which is written by Jane Austen. And I started this video during lockdown because I had a lot of time and I thought that it would be really helpful if I help you all to just go through line by line of this novel. So it has been more than two years since I started this novel and I'm getting a lot of requests that I should continue with it. So now I am just restarting this all over again. So let us just start with getting introduced to all the main characters of this novel. So the novel Pride and Prejudice is written by a very famous novelist Jane Austen. All right. And I will teach you all about Jane Austen as well. Her biography and her writing skill, her important novels. All that we are going to study but in later videos. Now first we are going to just go through all the main characters of the novel which appear quite frequently. Because if we want to study a novel appropriately then it is very important that we are acquainted with the main characters or even sub characters, not so important characters of the novel. So okay. So let us begin with this two most important characters named Mr. Bennet and Mrs. Bennet. So in the beginning of the novel, in the very first page, we are introduced to Mrs. Bennet and Mr. Bennet. So this is the Bennet family. Mr. Bennet and Mrs. Bennet, as the name suggests, are a couple and they have five daughters, Jane Bennet, Elizabeth Bennet, Mary Bennet, Catherine Bennet and Lydia Bennet. All right. And the Bennet family lives in Longburn. Longburn is a village in Hertfordshire. Obviously, this is a story of UK, United Kingdom. So, all the village, name of the village is going to be very fancy and very Anglo, Anglican names. So, you have to just memorize these names. There is no alternative to that. So, this Bennet family lives in a village known as Longburn and this village is in Hertfordshire. All right. And these are the five daughters. You just have to remember the names, but the protagonist is Elizabeth Bennet. We can also say that she is the heroine of the novel. She is the main protagonist. And one important fact about Elizabeth Bennet is that she uh, represents this word prejudice. And if you have even gone through the novel casually, if you have even casually browsed through the novel, then you very well know that Mr. Darcy is the hero or the main lead hero of the novel. So Mr. Darcy represents pride and Elizabeth Bennet represents prejudice. All right. She stands for this word prejudice. Prejudice means preconceived notions which we develop about someone without even giving them a chance, without even properly knowing them. All right. So this is the Bennet family. And if I just have to give you a brief of all these characters, then Mr. Bennet is very pragmatic and logical type of person. Mrs. Bennet is very impulsive and to be honest, she is very ill-mannered also. So these two characters and she always complains of some nervous breakdown. Nervous breakdown. All right. And Jane Bennet is the most beautiful or the most pretty among all these Bennet sisters. So she is the eldest Bennet uh, uh, sister, eldest of the Bennet daughter and she is very pretty and just contrary to her mother, she is very well mannered, she is very courteous, very polite and shy also. Elizabeth Bennet on the other hand is very sharp, witty, intelligent and of course she is beautiful. But only, she is beautiful only next to Jane Bennet. It means if we have to compare them on the basis of beauty, then Jane Bennet is foremost and only then Elizabeth Bennet is there. So Elizabeth Bennet has all the qualities which is required uh, to be the heroine of the novel. And Mary Bennet, you just have to remember she doesn't appear quite often in the novel, but then you just have to remember that she is a bookworm. Nerd. And since she reads so many books, then it is very obvious that she will keep on just giving her uh, gyan or whatever knowledge to everyone. Unsolicited advice, you can say, and she will just showcase her knowledge to everyone. All right. Now, Catherine Bennett, 
she is relatively less important character and you just have to be acquainted with the name that's it and her pet name is kitty kitty bennett all right and lydia bennett she is the youngest of all the bennett sisters and it is but obvious that if she is the youngest then she will be most spoiled and she is the favorite of mrs bennett she is the favorite child of her mother and elizabeth beth bennett is favorite of her, of her father okay she is mama's pet you can say or very spoiled brat and you have to remember this name because in the lydia wickham episode we we will come to this george wickham george wickham is the villain of the novel we can say and she elopes lydia bennet elopes with him in future chapter in uh, uh, chapters which are we are about to read that okay so i'm really sorry if i'm just fumbling because i'm just please bear with me okay so now we have netherfield park netherfield park is a mansion there is a mansion in netherfield park which mr bingley mr charles bingley i hope it is visible mr charles bingley has taken on rent and he will pay for this mansion now all these bingley family and darcy family all these are very rich people super elite class of people during those times and charles bingley has two daughter has two sisters mrs hurst and miss caroline bingley mrs hurst as the name suggests is married to mr hurst so mr hurst is brother in law of charles bingley and miss caroline bingley is unmarried she is the unmarried sister of charles bingley and we also see that she is highly interested is in mr darcy but mr darcy is not interested in caroline bingley he develops fondness for elizabeth bennet and at last we do see that mr darcy and miss elizabeth bennet they get married so miss caroline bingley has a romantic inclination towards mr darcy we see that and mr darcy's full name is mr fitz william darcy and mr darcy also has a sister named georgiana darcy okay so we will come through these characters also we will come through characters like mr collins mr phillips lady catherine all these we are going to uh, come as we progress in the novel we are going going to come through these characters all right so yeah this is it for today's video and i hope that i just gave you a uh, this uh, glimpse of these characters in a nutshell and i will see you all in my next video bye